Happy Sunday, everybody. Okay, so I started off with Precious Memories, and then I went over to Ivory Palaces, which is a song that I kind of knew the chorus of, but really didn't know the verses, and it is just beautiful. So someone suggested that. Actually, it's been requested quite a lot, and I've never taken the time to learn it, so I got that out of soul-stirring songs and hymns, but it's in a lot of hymnals. And now I'm going to play several here that come from the request people have sent in the sheet music for. Some of those have come over email or they've sent me a picture over Facebook Messenger. So that's going to be Lift High the Cross is the one I'm going to start with. So this is a big one and I just learned it this afternoon. So let's see if I still remember it. For me so it's the words are by George Kitchen and the music is by Cindy Nicholson and it's an old one let's see it doesn't have a year on it um, looks like written sometime the words were written sometime before 1912 I know that so okay this is still what was the title of the that oh one? yeah sorry that was lift high the cross lift high the cross I like that one and then this is still sweeter every day so let me see if I can remember how this goes another verse. Let me figure that. to it still sweeter every day written by William Clark Martin in 1899 and then the music was written by Charles Austin Miles so that's a great one just a good public domain hymn I had never heard so that was a fun one to learn okay let's see this is gonna be Divino Compañero so I like learning this one this is from a Spanish hymnal and it is a Spanish hymn I, I'm sure it's been translated to English but the it is from a Spanish hymnal, and I really, really enjoy playing it this afternoon. So here it is. So. Compañero. Let's see. 
I don't think I can read who, yeah, the title, or the author, I'm sorry, is not written on there, but it does come straight from their hymnal. So, okay, and then this one is Win the Lost at Any Cost. And I played through it for the first time this afternoon as well. So this is a, I don't know if this is a really good exercise for my, for my brain or not. I think it is, because I'm having to play songs that I've never heard and remember. So let's see here. That's Win the Lost at Any Cost. And it's published by the Tennessee Music and Printing Company, which is exactly who published the church hymnal, the Redback Church Hymnal. So I'm sure there's a lot of connection there. But okay, and then this one is The Stranger of Galilee. Someone sent this to me as well. It's an old hymn written in 1893. So let's see. a bunch of you guys requests. I think I still have one more from this stack that I'll get to, um, a song I really enjoyed learning from the emailed sheet music request. So I have a lot more to get to of those. And if you have sent music, please know that I do read it and I do print it off. And I have a stack that I'm working my way through trying to learn these songs. So I, I think I take that very seriously and I appreciate you guys sending me the music. So I'm working my way through those requests. All right, what can I play for you guys? Okay, several people would like to know how much time do you spend a week praying, pl not praying, playing <laughs> slash practicing? Um, I am at the piano about seven hours a day, several days a week, not every day, but several days a week. So that is teaching, um, practicing, working on video stuff that we're going to be uploading to YouTube, things like that. So um several days a week it's about seven hours i guess that's a good answer but that's not all practicing i i should practice more than i do just to learn new songs like we're working our way through the church hymnal that takes me a while because there's quite a few in there we're doing like 25 pages at a time and within those 25 pages inevitably there will be several that i've never heard so i am having to practice more these days but that's a good thing i need to practice more um thanks for letting us know the sound is a lot better this week. Yes. <laughs> Last week was quite a problem. I think we mentioned that 
we got home really late and we're kind of scrambling. Um, thank you. Sound mix is fabulous. I appreciate <laughs> thank that. Thank you. That it is actually all Josh. was. I thought it was fabulous last week. But the problem was not with the sound I was mixing. It was that it wasn't converting to what to the video you all were watching. So it was very confusing because I was like, everything seems to be right. Everything's on. Everything sounds right on my end. But everyone was like, I can't hear. And I can hear. And this, this that, is and the all other. new but for us. So. All that <laughs> was a simple matter of a little plug that. I guess was just acting up because it was plugged in and appeared to be correctly plugged in. But anyyway, thanks for sticking with us. You so guys I'm glad are a patient audience. that it does we sound better it. this week. All right. Um, let's see. What's the first one? At Calvary. Okay. Because he lives. and me I don't think I know that one I'll oh, have to learn it but I, don't I think know we it. do but I'm like you I'm kind of drawing a blank it, on which yeah, song sorry, that is sorry drawing a blank on that one nearer still nearer this is one I know Josh's many favorite. of you mentioned that the haven of rest is one of my favorite favorites and it is nearer still nearer is equal as a favorite for me
What is your favorite song to play? Mm, my favorite song to play. Hold on, I'm going to grab another hymnal. Um, I do not know the answer to that. Like, if I, I just finished playing Nearer Still Nearer, so I would say that Nearer Still Nearer is my favorite. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. Of We've course, I love Great Is Our Faithfulness. We've asked her this question quite a I few know. times, and she has yet to answer I don't it, get so a very good answer to trying. that question. Somebody commented and said, Jesus and me is in the Songs and Hymns of Revival. So I'm going to, Jesus and me, there it is, page 47. Okay, y'all, I'm going to do some sight reading in front of everybody. 47, Jesus and me. I travel to, oh, it's an old Ira Stamp Hill song. Okay, let's see. cross. said shout out to the cameraman so and I know y'all hear Josh's voice but you don't always see him when he's back there but like this growing the way it has has been so neat for us and we're very thankful for it and we've had to learn all this stuff as we've gone along because if you look back at like episode one and even before we started putting them on YouTube it was literally our phone either held or put on a tripod and so we had no clue that it was going to turn into this and how the Lord's blessed it and we're so thrilled with that and that you guys love hearing all these old hymns and I'm having to learn a lot of old hymns so that's been tons of fun but I am very grateful for Josh's leadership in that because if it were me it would still be my phone on a tripod a few feet away because I don't understand the technical side I just play the piano so it definitely takes both you see me but there's a lot behind the scenes maybe I should post a picture of this direction sometimes. So thank you guys for joining us. Okay. That was my um something beautiful. Something beautiful. Um I think I know that. Uh, I do know it, but I'm gonna use a hymnal for it. Something good. Oh my da 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 Okay. Let me grab this hymnal. I know the chorus is in here. Let's see. Um da 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 yeah, where, there it is. Three, okay, three, while she's looking, I'll ask a question. How many of you comment? Okay, yes, that's an Emily tactic, but <laughs> you know, I learned from the best. Um, how many of you have the CD already or have ordered it? Yeah. Comment below and let us know. So, and tell us what your favorite song is on there. So. Yes, and what if you have it, what's your favorite song on the album or if you've listened to it? It's available. You can order it 
an actual hard copy from the website, natalierainsmusic.com. It's also on iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Pandora, Music. I don't know what all else. but And we shipped out a bunch more yesterday, so you'll get them in a couple days. So if you ordered, it has been shipped. So, all, right. all right, what are you about to play? Something beautiful. So. ago a sweet Facebook friend on here that watches these videos sent us a beautiful um, piece of artwork that had John 316 and he wrote the kindest card along with it and he said that he wasn't trained in formal woodworking and Robert you may be watching right now but that he would take old salvaged broken wood and make something beautiful out of it and he does beautiful furniture work and some of his pictures it's just amazing and in his card he said I think that's what the Lord does with our lives, is He takes those broken pieces that the world looks at and does not see value in, and He turns it into something that is beautiful for His glory. And that is, I think, what a beautiful picture. Now when I see that framed art, it's got the mo you would never know that framed wood and the background came from salvaged wood that was you know, doomed to be destroyed. And then in the hands of an artist, it gets turned into something really amazing. And I don't know, I just think about that how God takes lives that before Jesus are a real mess. And then he transforms them, puts them in the body of Christ. And you think about how your church is set up. I know it's this way in our church. You sit on the pew with people. And sometimes in a church setting, you all look pretty similar. Everybody cleaned up. And yet the stories that our lives before Jesus could tell and what God has done and how he's transformed us. That's what he does is he transforms. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature and old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. I love that. That's how God works. He takes brokenness and he makes it really beautiful. Natalie, what's your favorite song on the CD? Oh, um, I think the most like personal that means the most to me is probably I Have a Bible. But I don't know. We Need the Church is my favorite too. Yeah. And also everything he touched, he changed. <laughs> And I really love Jesus Came Into the Room. Okay, this could clearly go on for 10 songs. I don't know. They're, I love Natalie's them all. Natalie struggles with favorites. I do. I do. And that's okay. I I think my favorite is We Need the Church, which I I think they're, well, I think it's the best, like, not necessarily the best song, but it's like the best timing for a song and the best mm -hmm. overall package all put together. I think that's why it ends up being the favorite for now it can always change later and hopefully it will for a lot of you um let's see we just did something beautiful is yeah. that the last one we did all okay. right mm -hmm. jesus lover of my soul okay.
I think Natalie has, I don't know, maybe 20-ish hymnals right now. Something like that. I don't know. That, that, that's a good guess anyway. We'll have to count them sometime. And a piano-only CD is in the plans. It's coming. Yeah. We're hoping to get that recorded this month. I don't know what that means as far as an actual release date, but that is definitely in the plans. All right. Jesus, lover of my soul. That was mm -hmm. the last one. Wait. I don't know if you know this one. I don't recognize it. Wait till you see me in my new home. Um, I, I don't know it by memory, but I have heard of it and maybe heard it. But I'll have to learn that one. So I'll take a rain check on it. Surely goodness and mercy. Oh, yeah. This is written by Dr. Alfred B. Smith. So shout out to his wonderful hymns. He wrote a lot of songs, too. Um, I think with John W. Peterson, I love both of their styles. I think they had a really glorious style. But his son, Dr. David Smith, has been a great mentor and friend to me in music. And when I was a choral director for a school, he was just a great encouragement to me. So I really appreciate people who have given their lives to good gospel music, and they don't mind sharing it with people younger than them who are the up and coming and learning to love this kind of music. So I enjoy playing Surely Goodness and Mercy a lot. I've told the story about Dr. Smith's tapes being the soundtrack in our home for very many years. My mom would have that music playing. So I remember hearing him sing these and it was beautiful. Took you a minute to remember that one, it didn't did, it? It did, just for a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joy Unspeakable. vision.
see. Do we have inspiring hymns? Um, or I do have the worship and service hymnal. We do have that yes. one. We do have majesty. Um, Not the new majesty. No, but majesty. The majesty hymnal, yes. Great hymns of the faith. I've mm -hmm. seen that before. I don't know if we actually have a copy of it or not. There are some over there that we hardly ever pull out because most of the songs are in. There's a lot of overlap with some of them. Mm -hmm. um, Family of God hymnal. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think so. I have the song Family of God in a hymnal. <laughs> okay. As the deer. <laughs> was day by day so um a, a friend of a friend i think is their daughter is having a surgery of some type this week so this is twinkle twinkle little star i know that's a little bit different for a hymn program but that's what i'm going to play next so put me to sleep uh, that's not what we're going for that's not what now, we're doing like. okay <laughs> <laughs> um the cd is available at natalie rains music.com mm -hmm. yes that's for a hard copy um if you get your music from in a streaming or whatever pretty much every major platform it is also on there it's called we need the church by the rains family mm-hmm Sweet, sweet spirit. We're kind of on a streak of slow songs. of uh, calm, soothing songs, but that's what you all were requesting, so that's what we're playing. So after this, though, we're going to start the final five Redbacks. So, well, we have maybe. a few we more might requests. Do a few more. You can start thinking about it, but I, I think we've got about four more we you, need to okay, get to. Okay, that I'm going to want to play? Yes. Okay, all right, I'll do it.
give him the glory. It's oh, yeah. number 54 in the... In the gold book. Mm, or the black okay, one there I on top. Okay, I know it's in the... It's number 54 in this one? Yes. I actually sang that in church just a few weeks ago. I like that one a lot. So it seems funny how... And not really funny, but just interesting that every episode kind of takes on its own flavor. And sometimes I think the Lord wants us to just quiet our hearts and be at peace. And music is a really wonderful way to do that. Just like getting your heart still where you can hear the Lord speak to you. So if that's through some beautiful old hymns, then that is a wonderful way to do that. Combine some hymns with some scripture and just let the Lord minister to you. So if you're in a time of turmoil, I am praying that this music will bring that peace to your heart. Only Jesus is the source of real peace. And these words all talk right about him. So if you're wanting to know more about him, I'd recommend reading his word and finding out what's behind the melodies of these hymns is some powerful truths in the words. So, all right. <laughs> Okay, do you know his love is as vast as the ocean? I do not. I didn't think you did. Okay, but it sounds beautiful. I think, to not be rude, I have to occasionally suggest ones that you may not That is know. okay. No, it's a good challenge. And I like she knows it. like at least twice as many as I do, so <laughs> there's always a chance. I'll fly away. Sure. Just because we haven't done it in a long time. That is true. We have not done that in a while. So, And I always say I play it in G because it's written in B flat in the hymnals, in a lot of hymnals, the hymnals that it's in. But B flat is a little bit high for sopranos, so we're going to put okay. it in G. Okay. Before she starts that, you're going to play I'll Fly Away. Okay. And then you're going to go into Come Thou Fount. Got it. All right. You've already been sending in some red back requests, mm -hmm. and I've chosen four. So I only need one more. So I need the page number and the title, and I'm going to pick one. And if you want me to pick it, it should be something we haven't done really recently. So, I'll fly away, come thou fount. I'll fly away, come thou fount. Okay. That's my mom's mom. We call them Mamma and Papa in the South. That's grandparent names. But she usually will text me before the episodes and tell me to make sure I play something very fast. So I hope that was fast enough for Mamma. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> 
so I'm sure I'll find out. Okay. Come thou found. Oh, that's right. Oh man, I was trying so hard to remember the other one. Okay, we pick. I've got them picked out. Oh, All right. I forgot. I had one more to play from the requests that were emailed to me. Okay. Okay, y'all are getting a little extra here. So this is redeeming love, and I had it sitting here, and then forgot to play it. says it was fast enough I'm and it was fabulous okay wonderful i'm glad to hear that that was for her <laughs> <laughs> okay i had something i was going i forgot the question now oh well i may remember it first one up is oh i remember the first 25 pages which is only what 12 songs yeah it's not very many songs is a is on youtube from mm -hmm. the red back or church hymnal and we should be putting up the next 25 or so mm -hmm. This week, We've maybe We've already recorded the first more. half of them. Yes. So, so as we work through these, your options are going to get smaller and smaller because we're going <laughs> to stay. We're getting the whole book done. Towards the end, maybe. So, and please we'll feel free to comment ideas of things you'd like to see us make a video on, whether that's a collection of a certain composer or a topic you as a pianist would like more information about or more training about. Um, you know, what type of hymns you'd like to hear, if it's particular style, fast, slow, hymns of hope, I don't know. So please feel free to share those ideas. We really do read them, and it helps us get good ideas to keep giving you guys great content. So that's what it's about. Okay. The first one is 92. Oh, I'm actually right there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> God dips his love in my heart. Okay. I've heard this as a bluegrass song, but I don't know that I've ever heard it congregationally. Uh, where is the Okay, there it is.
sometimes the way the church hymnal is written, all those little flags, two for a 16th note and one for an 8th note, start looking the same by this point in the evening. So I was kind of hanging on for dear life there in that chorus. 169. 169. Please be a song I know. Let my life be a light. Not gonna, okay, I'll play it, but I've never heard it before. So I see. don't know if you know any of these. Tonight. Great. <laughs> okay. One and two and three and two. Someone said the first way was right, and the other one said that way was right. Great. So that's perfect. Perfect. You nailed it either way. <laughs> okay, this next request I picked because I loved the comment, and it said, 316, I don't know it, but I'd sure <laughs> like to hear it. <laughs> that's how I feel during this um, session, this part of the session, when it's like, I don't know it, but I'd sure like to hear it too. So, okay, I'll ride on the clouds with my Lord. It's in E. Let's see. Four and one. over every fermata that was written there because that is very cultural and I don't know how long everybody holds those so we just kept it in time and kept on going. All right last but not least okay. hopefully 346. 346 that one I do know okay this is a good one so what's it called? This is I know my name is there and I hope you do it's a wonderful thing that you can have Perfectly. Are there two on that assurance. page? There are two. Twilight is falling. Is that the one they want? I don't think so. Okay, I'll do. I know my name is there. So, okay. All right, here we go. Thank you guys for watching tonight with us. So, this will be the last one. 